Okay, hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you that this tool can do coding for BMW, but it's very interesting because nowhere on the internet it's showing in the description that it is capable capable of doing this. So I'm going to just go and log in into the BMW software. Connect to the device success. I will connect to my car and then I will go to unit coding. So we are doing today the BMW E63, doesn't matter if it's E60 or you just choose for E60, 61, 2, 3 and 4, you choose this one over here. So I will just show you that this tool can actually do coding of your uh, BMW and it can actually save the codes. You can write codes and you can do basically many things with this tool. So bear in mind that these all modules here, it's gonna be a lot of them, some of them are for E60, but we are reading the E63 car, so some of them it can happen and it cannot read. That means that we don't have that module in the car. So for example, I'm gonna open the satellite B pillar, right? This is the uh, module which if you want to code your seat belt occupancy sensor or seat belt detection. So I'm gonna read codes. As you can see that we now read the coding now if you want to go to change something so I want to show you over here there is many things that you can do for example this one first this is a airbag you can put it as active not active or you can put that you don't have that your car doesn't have it at all so basically if you have faulty uh, sensor in the car you can go here and you can put just not equipped and you just write codes I'm not gonna do that now at the moment I'm just gonna be showing you that you can actually uh, read the codes and write the codes. I'm gonna test just something to write the code and I'm gonna return it back to the default settings. So let's go into something else. This is occupancy sensor over here. So mine was faulty in the, in the right side so I just put not active. So basically that was I was able to turn off the airbag lamp on the dashboard in the instrument cluster so let's open now for example let's go let's open for example i don't know let's try to open body gateway module so if if our car has this module it's gonna read to the it's gonna read this module so it says failed we don't have this module so let's go, I don't know, let's try to... To open this door module passenger, let's see, can we open this one? Okay, so we don't have that one. I know for sure that we can open instrument cluster, so I'm gonna load instrument cluster. You can, you guys can do a lot of coding here for the full car. So... As you can see here, you can do you can do much stuff. You can enable the warning for the speed on 120 kilometers. Seat belt monitor. Okay, let's see. let's see. So seat belt. Let's see what do we have over here. See, you can disable many things so seat belt warning driver this is if you if you don't want to have warning for to put your seat belt you can disable that i'm gonna now enable it so you guys can see that this actually works write coding and it's gonna write the data over here down yeah writing data success and now i will again disable it to put not active Okay, writing data success. So as you can guys see, you can very easily, you can very easily code out things. 
or coding if you need something so let's go now for example let's open i don't know let's try to open climate module let's see climate module can we open this one yeah we can so this is for air conditioning so you can do many things in air conditioning as you can see you can be changing all of those things so many of these things is on a german language so i'm not very good with german actually i don't know german at all but the english english very good so you can see here you can code many things let's go now to open different module let's go to open now park distance control uh, park distance control where did we lost it okay it's up here let's open park distance control no problem uh, opening this and then you can again you can again now we have an english language so some things are in english some things are in german so you can see over here that you can be also changing coding many things So usually when I reverse, when I put my gear in reverse, this uh, automatically turns on. So probably there is somewhere this option, but there is so many. If, if you go to this group over here, let's go open these ones. It opens many, many coding values. So let's go now to something else. Let's go now. Let's try to read this one out. Yeah, KBM or base uh, body module. We can go over here. Okay, what what we can do here? Let's see. Okay, now when we come over here, it, it gives many options now. So now, as I as, as when I'm looking at this is again German language. So so some of them are in German, some of them are in in English. So I don't really know what what these ones means. But as you can see, it gives you option either on active or not active, or gives you option to choose value different values. So let's now see obviously uh, universal garage door opener we don't have that uh, in this car so let's go now to ccc can we read this yeah communication failed that means we cannot open that one probably my car has different module different name so if you go over here to the let's find the uh, for the uh, engine computer you can read this because I already tested so you can read and you can change some things over here not much but basically very good tool they didn't said that this this uh, this is enabled on this tool because they are doing it on a purpose to sell the BMW VVDI which is uh, specifically for BMW coding but guys you can do coding with this tool and this tool is amazing best tool to make keys best tool I would say also very good tool to do the code uh, coding of the car so let's go can we open this micro power module we'll try to open few of them yeah we can so you can see That here basically micropower module is distributing electricity from the trunk so we don't have many options we actually cannot change I can think nothing here we can just read 
Maybe we can uh, we can save file and then edit and then write it back. Load file and write it back. So let's go now. I don't know. Let's go to. I don't know. Let's go here. Can we read this one? I didn't try this one. Failed. Okay, we cannot we cannot load that. Uh, we don't have a camera, so that's not gonna be able to be opened. Cas car access system. Let's see. Can we read codes from car access systems? Probably yes, because we have present. Okay, we cannot. Okay, maybe mine is not 80. Let's see. Car access system. Do we have car access system saved under different number? Just a second. Let me go up. Yeah, we have it under 40. So let's try the 40. Yeah, this one is reading. So basically, doesn't need to be the one that you load. So you can see here, you can be changing your engine type steering. You can change it when you replace on the right side. You can change cylinder count if you change engine. You can change how many transmission gears you have. Model variant with chassis. You can change that your car is different chassis. Which engine? If you change the engine transmission type. Yeah, mine is sequential. So if you change transmission, you can code out. Then you can uh, code the battery, battery amperes. If you change battery, so you can see you can do much, many stuff here. Transponder, you can enable, disable. You can do much stuff over here. Engine start, brake pedal activated. Basically, you can. Uh, probably uh, code that you don't need to press brake when starting the engine let's see what else yeah we can let's try to now open something else light module let's try to open light module I think I already opened it once let me find it light 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 module there we go read coding as you can see reading success analyzing there is a lot of things over here a lot of things a lot of options a lot of variables to change so basically you can code anything you want over here. It's problem because these writings over here are some shortcuts so it's hard to know what is this exactly for but you can code out many things. Let's see can we read the battery sensor IBS. Yeah this one we cannot maybe it's under different number. So. Let's see. Central control unit. Can we open this one? Probably don't have this one or it's it's called different name. I don't think that we have agency module in this car. Let's try, can we open this one? Yeah, this is for the panorama roof probably. It's a sliding, tilting sunroof. My car has this, so it's basically opening. And again, there is a many options over here available. Which I don't want to be touching them. Security module 1, can we read that? Not really. Security module 2. Let's see. Can we read this one? Yeah. Maybe we don't have this one in the car. Maybe it's on a different name. I don't have navigation, so I'm not going to be able to open that.
so yeah guys you can do much much many things over here with this with this tool very good tool uh, expensive tool but very reliable so yeah I would recommend this tool to everybody but this is also their hidden hidden uh, uh, trick which this tool can do yes you can code with this tool okay thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel